Welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine, and today we're going to talk about the octagons. But we are not going to talk about geometry, but about nutrition. Because here in Peru, packaged foods get octagons so the buyers can see if they are dangerous or not. Well, as a vet, I studied animal nutrition, which is pretty much nutrition and had to study all about the different kinds of food. I already told you the basics of it in this video because this is chemistry, pure chemistry, beautiful chemistry, biochemistry and biology because where do we get our food from? Plants and animals. So what happens is that they have these octagons and they say high in sugar, high in saturated fats, high in trans fats, and high in sodium. And the problem is that we don't know what they really mean. So the debate is open because everybody is talking about this. And I think that is a good thing because people are finally reading the labels. Before, it was just me reading the labels. But there are some things we need to know. For example, the other day I was talking to some friends and we were talking about the octagons. So one of them said, oh yeah, that is trans fats. That is transgenic fats, right? Eh, not really. Uh, and because yeah, but I get it. You can think trans means transgenic because yeah, that would be kind of logical. But no. So they have two types of warnings. These three warnings say high in sugar, high in saturated fats, and high in sodium. And below it says, do not eat too much. Something like that. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> so how do I know how much is too much? And how do I know what they consider high? in fats and saturated fats or in sugars. They are not telling me that. And that is a problem because sugars are good, saturated fats are good, and sodium is good. Problem is when you get, when you have too much, a little of everything is just fine. <laughs> Actually, because of this, I started investigating more about sugar, and, which is which is very interesting. I research says that basically we shouldn't have any added sugar, meaning any sugar that doesn't come naturally like in fruit. And there's research that says that we should have 25 to 30 grams of sugar, added sugar maximum a day. So when having these snacks or this food, because it's not only snacks, it's food in general, that is packaged, if you eat too much, which you will have to count how much that is, you will probably exceed that limit that is recommended. When talking about sugar, why is that limit recommended? Because more than that makes your liver work way too much. And besides giving you lots of fat on your body, it does damage your liver. Of course, you won't notice until it's probably too late. When talking about fat, well, we can think fat is not good, but fat is good and it's important for many, many processes in our body. The problem is when we have too much of it. So there are two types of fats. The ones that come from animals, they are saturated fats, and the ones that come from vegetables, they are unsaturated fats. Now, fats have such a dense structure that we really need a little. And that's our problem, that a lot of any fat will make us fat. But if we have saturated fats, uh, have in addition to making us fat, you get high risk of high heart attack and all those things. But if you eat like a lot of the insaturated fats, the, the fats from vegetables, 
you don't get that uh, heart risk. But you will still get fat if you have too much of it. So these are the natural fats. Since the saturated fats can give you risk of heart disease, they are part of the octagons and they tell you that too much can be a problem. But there's one kind of octagon that tells you avoid the consumption. And that's the octagon for trans fats. Why? What are trans fats? We never talked about trans fats when we talk about normal fats, natural fats, because these are like made fats. They are fats from vegetable sources that are chemi chemically arranged so the products are easier to make, more preserved, etc. Many things that they do in industry. The hydrogenation process. So these are fats that were transformed chemically and that when entering our body, it doesn't really know how to react to them because they are not natural. And so in addition to making you fat, they totally, totally, they decrease the good fats in your blood. And they increase the bad fat in your blood. So they give you a lot more risk of heart disease. And that's why they should be avoided. The other octagon refers to salt, sodium. Again, sodium is very important in our body, in our cells. We need it. But too much of it is also risky for our heart, especially because it increases our blood pressure because of the too much concentration of salt. So having too much of it can give us more than we require on a day. So the octagons are good to call our attention to the labels because, for example, the other day I was buying something, I, I love cheese because it's delicious and because it's high in protein and proteins are the best. <laughs> and proteins are the best. Like proteins, we're talking about nutrition because they make up all our sales and everything. So I love them and we can get energy out of them. It's like protein, I'm there. It's all meat and, you know, milk products and cheese protein because cheese is made of milk. Lots, lots of milk concentrated and somehow they do and you get the cheese. So it's high in protein. But depending on the process of the cheese, some cheese and uh, the more, let's say, concentrated it is, the more fat it has too because milk has fat naturally. So the really good cheese, you know, that melts on pizza and bread has a good, it's a good source of protein, but it's also a good source of fat. And since it's animal fats, it's saturated fats. So the other day I was doing my grocery shopping and I saw my beautiful cheese and like with the octagon, high in saturated fats, like the octagon telling me, do not buy me. How could I not buy the cheese if I love it? And besides it's so nutritious. So if you see the octagon, you might say, oh no, no cheese anymore because it has the octagon. But that's not necessarily bad, especially if you just have a little. So the octagon does not mean you're going to die, but it does mean pay attention to this. Consider this, but taking into account all the other ingredients that you have in there too because nobody is studying high in carbs or high in protein, which would be good, but only the bad thing. Why? Why do they have to focus on the bad things? Let's be positive, people. I focus on the positive proteins of the cheese, but I'll do eat it sensibly tonight when I have pizza. Thank you for watching. Please comment, share, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you soon.